Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. Today we're going to take a look at a message from your ancestors. I think that's what I'm going to call the title, a message from your ancestors, just as simple as that. I've got these lovely golden coloured stones here and that's because today I am wearing a mustard yellow type colour because it is Thursday <laughs> and Thursday is Jupiter's day and so as I was looking at my crystals today I just thought why don't I pick out all these golden type coloured stones. So I've got this orange calcite here for group number one. For group number two I've got a beautiful tiger's eye crystal. Look at that, isn't that wonderful? Let's see if you can see my blinds in the reflection there. <laughs> it's really nice. And then this is, I remember the name of it has honeycomb something or other in there. Honeycomb agate maybe? Uh, it's an inexpensive stone, nothing too fancy. And what I've done is I've made these little bits which I have stuck on here. So I tend to do that with different rocks I find. And the other thing I thought we could take a look at in the introduction today, I've got scissors ready, is this incredible deck which we can use today. It's the Healing Cards, the Conspiracy deck. Now I'm pretty sure this is the one with the pink book and in Australia I got the pink book but I didn't get the cards and you can see this arrived from Germany today it arrived in a um, bubble wrap pack kind of thing and I've just pulled it out I've just noticed that it's already kind of open but it did say new on the website and I'm super excited for it. so those of you who want to stick around for the unboxing stick around because we're gonna have fun unboxing this I love watching unboxings on the internet because I don't know it's just people are happy aren't they I love when you watch these product type videos I think I do need scissors so yeah group one group two group three I'll see you in your reading or you can stick around and we'll take a look at this I'm so excited oh there we go I probably don't need scissors Ooh, look at this exciting love opening new stuff it's so much fun oh this really is brand new i am out of this world happy i cannot tell you yeah the internationally acclaimed psychologist chuck spezzano founder of psychology of vision is a teacher trainer and coach who leads seminars worldwide and best-selling author if it hurts it isn't love i've read quite a few of his books i've got quite a few of his books on my shelf they are brilliant he is such a great speaker teacher author oh wow i don't have this unless maybe this is the same no this is the same this is the one i have but i've got a lovely new design here how wonderful oh my gosh i'm so happy oh and look at this great okay well we are going to enjoy this together today guys I have not even normally when I get a new deck I draw like the first card I'll draw it for me but I'm not going to do that today they're all for you let's do this all right well I'm going to put this to the side and we'll draw a card from here at the beginning for every single group so I will see you in your reading Hi there group one, if you chose group number one or this beautiful orange calcite stone then you are in the right place. Orange calcite, we've got an orange here, we've got second chakra, we've got creativity, right? So there's already some kind of creativity vibe coming through and the topic is a message from your ancestors shall we shuffle with this absolutely brand new deck and you can tell it's brand new because look at that the color bands are all in one row this is factory fresh absolutely new so why don't we shuffle and we'll draw a card straight away from this I've also got the book just nearby so if we need to look up the book, we can, we probably do need to look up the book with these. 
Um, we'll also take a couple of oracle cards as well and yeah let's see a message from your ancestors already we've got a creative stone here so maybe you are being called to be creative i can still see the bands of color here oh that one's poking out good all right we'll take that and we will take one from here and we'll take another oracle card as well so we'll have one from here I hope you've been having a good week wherever you are, a good couple of weeks. I'm only doing this every two weeks now. It's because I've been so busy. There is a lot going on for me. I have been, gosh, what have I been doing? Well, all sorts of things, readings, you name it. <laughs> and trying to make videos as well. I am actually going to make um, a 10,000 viewer celebration video. I should have mentioned that at the beginning, but I didn't. Um, I have to do that this Monday I think write up all the notes on the weekend all right let's take a look what's going on where should we begin well you're going to look at the very first card from this deck so me too oh wow that's beautiful homecoming grace we've got the sun we've got a lovely couple holding hands they are on a beautiful path in the countryside stunning okay got a number 75 here 75 adds to now i believe that would be i was gonna, I was gonna say 13 it's 12 <laughs> it is 12 isn't it <laughs> i can count come on i can yep <laughs> which is a three number okay three is celebration that is a beautiful number as well okay what have we got here sacred pool Okay, what's going on here? Try and zoom in on the picture. She is floating in a sacred pool. It's a very dreamy scene, that. Lovely. Oh, wow, love. Flowers, blue sky. That's abundance. When I look at that card, yeah, I see abundance, I see riches, I see love, beauty, everything's in bloom. Well, if this is a message from your ancestors, I think they are coming through very loud and clear to say that they absolutely love you. And maybe you have been reaching out to them. Maybe you've been in need of their love. And they are wanting to flood through and say, we are with you. We, we, yeah, we totally love you. The other thing is we've got 75, we've got 47, which adds to, so that's 11, 12. We've got a love, so that's an 11 number there, which, yes. So those of you who are looking for a partner or you want to couple up or something like that, I think, you know, this is a massive sign that yes your ancestors will help arrange that or they maybe they're they're working behind the scenes trying to help arrange that they're trying to bring that person in shall we shuffle and see let's get a clarification on this card here look at that at the bottom of the deck we do have the hermit that just happens to be there and maybe so if you are single it might be that you won't be single for too much longer because there's a lot of confirmation coming through to say that there is love here for you. And that doesn't have to be in the form of a person. Uh, th this is your ancestors coming through anyway. They are saying they love you for sure. That's totally the message there. So we're going to get some more information on this homecoming card. Let's get, let's get one for each. One tarot card for each, and then we'll see what to do from there. Beautiful spread. Wow, I haven't drawn anything like this for a long time. So those of you who brought your energy here, thank you. All right, we've got the King of Cups. Wonderful. This is a very loving man. Maybe if you look through your ancestral lines, there was an incredibly loving 
man in there you know and who maybe has healed enormously maybe maybe he wasn't on the earth plane but now over on that other side he now is and he's encouraging you to be more loving here in the in the now great sacred and that is for homecoming grace okay sacred pool rest perfect absolutely perfect card to come through here so i think you're definitely being given a message look at that she's lying back as well she's lying down so that is that is a repeat totally and this is kind of like a repeat as well this is this is a very loving man here so there's either and there could be a very loving man on the other side who is giving you permission to be more loving right so that is something that i'm seeing there there's some yeah very loving man because we've also got the sun depicted on this card here the sun uh, in astrology certainly is, is a masculine is the noble masculine man so sacred pool we have this lovely lady she's lying back she's relaxing dreaming butterflies this very enchanted scene and then we've got rest you are also being asked to rest perhaps if there's someone that you want to come together with perhaps both of you are in a phase of rest both of you are getting ready for each other as well possibly okay and love what do we have here judgment wow another great card because when we cross over and when we go to that other side i think one of the things that we are judged for isn't so much well you know what's in your bank account and how many dollars did you earn no i think we're being judged for how loving were you and i think that's what your ancestor or ancestors are coming through to say they're coming through to say that you're judged not on anything other than how how much did you love how deeply did you love were you afraid to love did you give your heart did you share yourself you know these are the important things it's interesting we've also got a siren i don't know if you can hear that at this time it's like yeah it's like a i don't know some kind of love emergency <laughs> but no um seriously let's have a look at this yeah i think that is the only thing that we're judged on how much do we love how deeply do we love are we loving that is the more important thing while we are here so let's take a look at let's take a vedic astrology card per three here because i'm not being drawn to any one particular angle uh which is quite interesting so let's all right wants to be here ketu in the second house look at that recognizes there's more to life i'll show you recognizes there's more to life than money yeah wealthy when young can rebuild if there are losses helps others grow spiritually i think that's coming in here to confirm that life is really about love it's not so much about acquiring huge sums of money and if people around you are making it out to be that well they're just afraid to be loving you know they're more comfortable in um in well the world the, the man-made world um they're more comfortable in fitting in you know all this kind of thing let's take a look let's see what you know we'll be shown because we were shown that this goes here so let's see what this is moon in the fifth happiness from children beautiful let's see if i can zoom in on that is it going to come on here we go happiness from children acquires jewels and properties native is honest noble learned spiritual child may be famous talented artist abundant emotionally 
and it's kind of like I think when you when you make love the priority of your life the, the happiness all the good stuff will just naturally start coming in the other thing I've noticed as well and I think this is going in here with this king of cups um, I think as well that when you create space in your life what comes into the space is actually good stuff so what do I mean by this so when you create space and what is one way of creating space in your life well meditation is a classic way of creating space in your life also getting rid of physical stuff um, you know sometimes it has to be quite obvious you, you have to you know say goodbye to certain people and things like that creating space can mean that but it can be just getting rid of stuff it can be letting go of desires for things creating space you create space through meditation definitely it's a great way and in the space what I believe is that all the good stuff comes in health love abundance but it's kind of like you have to create the space Okay, let's see what else comes sun in the third oh this is a superb card I love this card look at that sun in the third highly courageous resourceful mind okay not good for siblings if afflicted sure if you've got Mars in there or something like that you know you might have some arguments with siblings uh, excellent and authoritative communicator rises to the top through self-effort yes and it's interesting that this comes kind of to clarify these cards where you're resting because and that's that's a bit of a contradiction there rises to the top through self-effort well how you put self-effort in you can only do that if your batteries are recharged if you are well rested if you're feeling good this is a beautiful spread group number one i am really amazed let's take how about we take uh, the energy is just so good here how about we take some guidance cards so I've got healing deck here we'll take one of these and we'll take one of these which will give us some guidance so what guidance do you need I think there is just a flood of love coming from the ancestors though and then what we'll do is we'll look up your card in the book and we'll let Chuck Spezzano have the final word so let's take a look at the healing cards so we're going to take one from here and then we're going to take one from this other deck which i've forgotten what it's called <laughs> so take that one and we will take one of these and then we'll have a read of the book absolutely wonderful energy here guys so what do we have we have got oh miracles wow well expect miracles they want to help you your guides ancestors ancestors in particular this is and i would say there is some kind of extremely loving male ancestor who just who just really wants to help you and if it's a miracle you need all you have to do is ask and you can look up your vedic astrology chart if you've got any significant planet in Maka Nakshatra, okay, M A G H A, Maka Nakshatra, look that up if you've got a planet there. It means your ancestors are really very strongly wanting to work with you, and you can ask them for help, and they will absolutely help you. They're on that other side, they've healed, they've sorted out all their stuff. Even if they had earthly stuff and they had a really difficult life. On the other side, there's so much healing, transformation that happens. You would be amazed. All right, let's see what this is. It says, conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. That's beautiful. Gosh, I love the artwork here. Conclusions are within reach. They're within reach, and I feel like it's like your ancestors are... They're, they're reaching out to you, okay? So if things have been tough, if things have been challenging, there is so much love from that other side coming to you. Conclusions are within reach. 
let's take a look at this card, Homecoming Grace, and we'll see what Chuck Spezzano has to say. Don't know if you can hear that rain outside, gosh, it's quite nice. Uh, 70, yeah, 75, okay. Homecoming. All right. Homecoming is a return to the comfort, sanctuary, and love that awaits us. It is a place where we no longer need, strive, or struggle. As such, homecoming can be a return to the place where we grew up. That might be something you want to do. Uh, you know, a return to ourselves, a return to our beloved, or a return to heaven. Homecoming is the prodigal child returning to his father's arms. Oh, how beautiful. And we've got the king of cups here. It's like there's a father that's coming through is what I think. Just this loving father. And as I say, like in real life, he might have had a tough incarnation and he might have been a tough man as well. Okay. But on that other side, I'm telling you the healing that they receive. I've watched so many NDEs. You know, and I, you know, I've even sort of, well, I had a bit of an experience one time as well um, of something. And yeah, there's this king of cups who's coming through. I mean, seriously, there is just so much love here for you. So homecoming is the prodigal child returning to his father's arms. It is us coming home after a long journey, which has been a great struggle and taken much effort. We may have been gone only a day, or we may have been gone many years. Homecoming brings us back to the people, the place, or the state of consciousness that we love and can fully relax in. God, doesn't this sound wonderful? Homecoming brings renewal and sweet release. It opens our heart and brings a sense of belonging that has been missing for so long. Homecoming is like a child held in the arms of a loving parent. Homecoming, homecoming may be a physical place or a spiritual experience. Whatever it is, it brings, up, it brings us to a place of deep surrender and an openness to know. Zoom in there. Homecoming is what we have yearned for. All of our yearning will continue until we return home to heaven and into the arms of the beloved. If you receive this card, it signals that you will find yourself again wow gosh isn't that amazing you will remember what you have forgotten about yourself and your life you may find it in a state of consciousness or an experience however short-lived of heaven on earth homecoming satisfies what you have been longing for it returns you to a more original self it blesses and fulfills you the yearning deep inside you will bring you to homecoming after homecoming gosh until you can finally return to the home return home to the mind of god and know yourself as you were created amazing this is what awaits you group number one you are coming home you are coming home to yourself and if you're not feeling it know that that is what's coming you know and if you're in a difficult spot right now I just I can't tell you strongly enough that other side is cheering you on is loving you is that's your home so just see if you can feel their love and make that your home. Group number one, it has been such a joy to read these cards for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I would absolutely love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there group number two. If you chose group number two or this very beautiful tiger's eye crystal, then you are in the right place. Now, tiger's eye, tiger's eye, what is tiger's eye? Tiger's eye is, it's like a third chakra type 
thing. And I am wearing this mustard yellow today. It's Thursday. We've got all the golden kind of colours going on. So this could be about third chakra. This could be about power. You know, maybe maybe you need to power up at the moment. Let's see. Let's see what comes through. The topic is a message from your ancestors. We are going to draw a card from this incredibly beautiful Chuck Spezzano healing cards deck. I am so glad I got this. I just drew the very first card for group one and I loved it. It was amazing. So it's really great to be able to... Whoa. Ooh. Three cards. Let's do it. Oh, this is going to be a big one. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's take them. I'm being greedy. But why not? Shall we just do this? And then we can clarify with the oracle card. So you're going to get a different reading. But why not? All right. Feeling unwanted. Number 19. Conspiracy. Yeah. We've got this. Okay, she's wearing yellow. Isn't that incredible? And we've all had this feeling of being unwanted. This is very Rahu. If you lived a very Rahu kind of a life, I've got quite a bit of Rahu in my chart, you know. Uh, yeah, I, I relate to that. Fear, okay. Conspiracy number 18. So we've got an 18 here, we've got a 19 here. Maybe we'll, we'll do that. Oh, wow. Failure, conspiracy. All right. 17. Okay, well, that's why, because I haven't shuffled this deck uh, that much. But yeah, okay, so <laughs> this is why these three have come out like this. All right, but that's all right. This has come out for some reason, and we're going to take a look at all this. And these feelings are all natural. We all go through them. And let's see if we can shuffle and get to some understanding, discover what it is that's going on. I think these have come through by your ancestors. Perhaps they're looking at you, the saying that we see you, we understand you, we went through this ourselves. These are all unique feelings of the earth plane. You see, where your ancestors are, they can't really feel these things. And that's what makes the earth plane unique. When we go to the other side, and I've watched so many near-death experiences now, you know, they all talk about the light, they all talk about the indescribable love, the indescribable colours, there are fragrances and scents and music and things that we just don't get any of that here. So it really is blissful over there. And by contrast, on the earth plane, we have these kind of things, you know, that, that we get to experience here and that we learn from. But you know, and, and all beings on the other side, they know that anyone who nominates to go to Earth is an absolute hero just for nominating to go there because it's hard and it's a lot of hard work and it's not easy. And one of the things that we come to do here on this Earth plane is, yeah, we, we come to taste these kind of emotions, you know, and to, and to feel these kind of things. So let's take a look with these cards and see if we can dig a, a bit deeper and see what is going on in your, perhaps in your life experience at the moment. See if we can get a better understanding. So I'll take that one and I will take one more from here as well. And then we'll see what it is that is going on. Okay. There we go. All right. Voyage. Right. Wonderful card. It looks so beautiful. And I think they've come in to set your ancestors. I like this. They're guiding you. They're, they're, you are not at all alone. It's like they're with you every single step of the way on this journey that you are on. And everything's being seen. Everything's being witnessed. And it's, I'm also getting a sort of image that like that other 
person or any anyone else in this situation who say for example you know it, it, it seems like they're making you feel these things that that person or those persons are being watched as well okay so you can let them mm, their karma will be dealt with you don't have to I kind of get the sense there's nothing you have to do and maybe you're not able to educate them or teach them let them go because it's all being watched it's all being watched and you're very much being watched over and taken care of. Gentle Garner, yet yeah, again. Look at that. It's like we've got this message twice. We've got this watching over this young one here. And we've got this lovely lady looking after these little ones here. Yeah. You're very much being held, supported, seen. Okay. Your courage is being seen. All the good that you do and put forward into the world, that is all being seen. It's not like no one knows how good you are and all the good that you do and all the good that you put forth into the world. That is, that is very much being seen. Okay, let's dig a bit deeper. Let's see what else comes up here. And we'll definitely read the bits from Chuck Spezzano's book as well. I'll use this deck to clarify a little bit more. This is quite a different looking spread to group one. Three. I kind of want to see what is this situation. See if we can get a little bit more about what situation you're in. All right, let's see what we've got here. Whoa, four of wands. Now that is traditionally a really good card, but let's dig deeper. Temperance healing, yes. There's something, it's like there's something going on maybe at home. There might be something, it's either something that's stressing you out or there's something going on at home at the moment. Okay, let's see if we take another couple, get a bit more information here one more so I was kind of wanting to see if we could <clears throat> get a bit more uh, clarity on let's say for example if there's someone else wow these are all moving around everywhere <laughs> okay see look at that there's this like desire to make things perfect maybe there's some stress coming from if you have a desire to make things perfect you see that is a classic right ten of cups yeah and just as I was talking about perfect we have this pretty perfect card come out here I mean, this is a kind of perfect love type, you know, I mean, you just can't be happier. It's like you want perfection. Let's have a look what this is. Three of Pentacles. Okay. This is a pretty good spread that we've got here. Your ancestors are clearly looking out for you. Why don't we get a clarifier for each one of these? And see what these are all about if we can dig a bit deeper um, two and three 
All right, let's see. And we do have this stone of courage, third chakra. That's certainly relating to those three Chuck Spezzano cards that we drew. Yeah, Mars in the fifth. Okay. There, you, could, you might be having an argument with a partner, with a lover. Uh, passionate about creative self-expression, hard on partner and or children. Yeah, but this could, this could just be, this could be arguments with children as well. Some of you have got adult children, you know, this could be arguments with partner, this could be arguments with adult children, right? Uh, love so cold, look at Joyce, yeah, okay, let's keep going here. Mercury in the 12th, so this is psychic gifts, fantasy fiction author, can have affairs, has few children, changes moods, thinking too much can bring the native down, yes. There's something about you being up in the mind, okay? And that is, I think, what is creating a lot of the difficulty that we see, we, we saw in those initial first three cards. You're very much up in the mind, I do believe. This is wonderful. Venus in the first house is good here because good health. Um, get back into the body. Get back into looking after your physical body as a remedy for this time. Okay, that's what is going to be good for you for now. Uh, what will be really good for you, because truly a lot of the cards that have come through, that you, you've got a lot of good in your life. There's a lot that's going right. There's a lot that's good here. So it's just some feelings of, you know, and sometimes that can be background. Isn't that interesting? those three cards are in the background we can't see them now so there's some it's like there's some kind of background tension or anxiety or there's some background thing that maybe you haven't been able to put your finger on where you're like things aren't right in the world maybe you're kind of feeling that things aren't right in the world or that you know because we have had a big transition Saturn into Aquarius you know we're going to have Jupiter move into Aries we've got some big transitions that are happening at the moment and you might just feel like everything has changed this and, and things are just not the same and I, I do relate to that because that, that's one of the things I've been feeling I'm just like wow everything's changed somehow I don't know the energy is all different and yeah let's bring these cards so this is this is health this is a great card of health physical body pamper yourself i think if there's guidance for you at this time and i think your ancestors would love for you to just have a spa day or nurture yourself or and that doesn't spa day doesn't mean you have to go anywhere yeah that can be just run yourself a bubble bath at home with some beautiful oils some candles you know and cook yourself a very nutritious big giant dinner and do the fun stuff that you love I think you need cozy time at home and that would be a really good thing but I and it could be that these three cards underneath as you see we're, you know we've, we've covered them up now and the other thing is when I was looking at this spread I was quite interested to see is this someone else who's bringing you down and I'm not particularly getting that it could be an argument as I say with a lover or with you know a, a teenage child adult child something like that it can be that but there's a lot that's going great in your life okay work is looking good to me you know the, perhaps you've got a desire for, 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 for perfection see I can't even get those words out that's amazing I was stumbling over those words there's a desire for perfection and it's the desire for that that's pushing the perfection away isn't that interesting? You are the queen of pentacles. There's natural, you know, abundant healing energy here for you. This four of wands, it's on the table. This is a great house of home, happiness. Also, a lot of people will say, you know, soulmate, partner, relationship, that kind of thing. That's very much here for you. If you're single, this will come in. Don't you worry. Let's take a look at these three cards. And we'll see what Chuck Spezzano has to say in terms of guidance, specifically for these three. I'm going to bring them to the surface, right? They got buried. Isn't that interesting? Also, they're all in a row. It can indicate I didn't shuffle enough <laughs> and it's a brand new deck, but that's okay. 
let's see, let's see. All right, kind of try and get these. There we go. That's not too bad. <laughs> That's looking pretty good. All right, let's take a look. Let's take a look. And I mean, look, these cards, they, they do look a bit grim, but we all have this. This is so natural in life we all experience these things and that's what's unique about being here you know it's like when i always give this analogy to people that let's say you you come from i don't know a country that's let's say you're very, okay let's say you're very wealthy and you live in and i'll just think i'll think about yes somewhere like i'll, I'll say why not i'll use america as an example and you live in America, you live in the penthouse suite, you're millionaire, billionaire, you've got all the things that you want. But then let's say you travel to India, right? I always love using this example. You travel to India. And then what, what would you do when you travel to India? Surely you want to go out on the street. You want to try the street food. And yeah, you might get a bit of an upset stomach. But also you want, there's holy, you want to throw colors at people, people throw colors at you. You want to do all of that, right? But if, if you're from America and you live in like a penthouse suite and you're used to all these luxuries and all that, but what if you go to India and you just live in a penthouse suite and you have all the luxuries and you get McDonald's delivered to your door every day? It's like you didn't go to India, right? And then, and then you just fly back to America. Well, then you'd never went to India, right? So going to India means going out on the street, eating the street food, maybe you get a bit of a bug, you, you throw colors at people, you, you talk to people, there are strange smells, crazy sounds, you know, you cross the road, you almost get hit by a cow, like that's what you go for. And similar thing with Earth, we actually come for, for all these experiences, for the failure, for the fear, for the, uh, you know, gosh, I'm, I'm feeling unwanted. These are the earthly things that we actually do come for. That's what makes it unique being here. And it's kind of like you didn't go to earth if you didn't feel all those things. Because on that other side, it's just bliss. So let's take a look at 17, 18, 19. We're going to go through and we are going to just go to the, we'll go to the receive this card bit. What I can do is I can just show you that. You can read that in your own time and I'll show you that bit but I'll read out the receiving this card so it says if you receive this card you're being warned that you are trapped in some powerful subconscious and unconscious dynamics around the failure conspiracy failure speaks of deep patterns of revenge and fear ultimately you are using the failure conspiracy to avoid going forward in life because you have some hidden fear and mistaken belief which is creating a vicious circle you may be using present failures as a way of paying off guilt, but this only creates a vicious circle of guilt failure. It is important to know that while most of you may be striving and struggling for success, a hidden part of your mind is planning for failure. Yeah, I, I totally relate to that. Uh, if you catch yourself in this conspiracy early enough and let it go, you may be able to save yourself a lot of pain by not having to act out the failure. Yeah. That is quite interesting and, and, and maybe not, you know, you, you may be able to save yourself a lot of time even if, if not pain. We've got the fear conspiracy here and you can pause that if you would like to. You can pause that there. If you receive this card, your success is being stopped by some painful fantasy you have about the future. Again, this is really very similar. To the last one I'll let you read that one in your own time and the feeling unwanted conspiracy again I'll let you read this in your own time but we've got here if you receive this card you are being asked to take a look at your life from a whole new perspective and that is kind of like the perspective that I'm talking about here with the you know, let's say you're in America and you live in a penthouse and you've got millions of dollars and then you go to India and you know do, do you live the same way no you don't you know you um yeah perspective so you see so hopefully that little interlude that story about the India America thing uh that that gives a new perspective as to what 
you know the 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 hardships are all about guys i hope this has been a good reading for you please let me know how you got on in the comments below i would love to hear from you and i look forward to seeing you next time hi there group number three if you chose group number three or this beautiful honeycomb agate i think it is guys if you know what this is better than i do but i think that's what it is it's some kind of honeycomb something or other i definitely remember the word honeycomb at the crystal shop then you're in the right place all right let's take a look and see what's going on so what message do your ancestors this is a message from your ancestors and we've got this brand new chutzpetsano deck i'm going to shuffle extremely well and i'm only going to take one card because oh all right well Clearly we're taking that one. Let's do it. Addiction. <laughs> I was going to say I'm going to shuffle really, really well. And then I didn't shuffle well. And this really wanted to be here. But it's one. In group two, we had three of these. So just saying. All right. Addiction. Conspiracy. Ooh, this is interesting. Let's take a look and see what other cards come through. And addiction is something that we all deal with in this life. And even if you've done something like clean up your diet or whatever it is, there'll be some mental patterns or something, you know, that you're addicted to. It's perfectly natural. Okay, let's take a look and see. It's funny because I was, I was thinking about this concept of um, addiction. And uh, yeah, let's see. All right, let's see if what I was thinking about will come up. Let's see. Maybe I shouldn't reveal that just yet but it's funny because before this reading I was thinking about some things to do with addiction okay oh how lovely blessings I think your ancestors are definitely coming through to say that they absolutely love you they're sending blessings they're sending love look at that a little songbird we've got flowers we've got this beautiful stream of water wow what a scene isn't that wonderful? All right, well, good. So your ancestors are coming through. Storm fields, okay. Very intriguing, group number three. What is going on here? So we have got some things to explore. We've got some things to check out here. All right, so let's take a look with, I'm gonna use this deck here. We'll put it back in. <laughs> I'm definitely going to shuffle. Let's do a proper shuffle. These cards just want to jump out. That's what happens. Okay, let's take that one. And let's check out what's going here in the storm fields. What's coming up for you? Group number three. All right, death. Yes, it certainly is. The death card, the end of something, the beginning of something new. Wow, I mean, I, do you know that is so funny because as I was thinking about Stormfield's card, I was thinking that's a tower card. And look what pops up, tower card. Okay, so I mean, we've got some really clear messages here, but I need to dig further. Okay, so what addiction are you ending? And what is this big tower moment all about? Let's explore these two things. So what addiction are you being asked to end? And I really strongly feel that through all this upheaval, these transitions, all this difficulty all, all these tough energies your ancestors are just shining like a beacon they are there for you they are look they're watching you they're proud of you they're encouraging you they you know ask them for guidance in your dream state especially if you've got a planet in maka nakshatra m-a-g-h-a -A. we'll take one here and then we'll take one here as well All right. Ace of Wands. It's a new beginning. You're going to create something new, group number three. 
you are due to create something new, I would say, in your life. What might that be? We will find out. Eight of Cups, you're being asked to walk away. All right, so you are being asked to walk away. It, it's like there's something that's not good for you. What is that something that's not good for you? Let's ask, all right, let's ask here. What are you being asked to walk away from? What are you being asked to walk away from? Group number three. Group number three, what are you being asked to walk away from? <sighs> mm. Hmm. I want more information. What are you being asked to walk away from? I've got a couple of thoughts coming into mind because this is an interesting card of this is ace of wands this is new beginning creativity it's also action and when I asked what are you being asked to walk away from maybe you're being asked to hmm. All right, I still want more information because it's still not making sense. I'm so sorry. What are you being asked to walk away from? I have a theory, but I want one more card. I don't want to share the theory just yet. What are you being asked to walk away from? Competition. Because it's like, I'm kind of getting a few things here. I'm thinking there might be a situation where you are too relaxed. You're actually not doing enough, possibly. That guidance doesn't always come through, all right? So that's why I'm finding it a little bit unusual because a lot of the times the big guidance that's coming through is that people need to rest, people need to take it more easy, people need to, um, you know, but here I'm kind of getting a feeling like you're being asked to not be complacent about something and I feel like and this came up as well you're being asked to act all right let's take a look at what are you being asked because we've got two action cards here what are you being asked to do there's something you have to do. What are you being asked to do? Group number three. I just had the phrase, not let lack. Mm, I would have used the words, yeah. So this, these were the words. Not let lack ruin your life. Wow, okay. So it's kind of like, even though there's lack and limitation, even though, and maybe that's, maybe it's the lack and the limitation that's been making you complacent or not acting because you're like, well, I can't do this because I don't have this. And I think you're being asked to act as if you are totally abundant and that you're totally, I've got here, in command and in demand. Okay, that's the kind of vibe that I've got here. What else do you need to do? We've got some, some doing type energy here. So I still want to dig into that. So we're not, you're asked, being asked to walk away from being complacent, right? from allowing lack to stop you from doing things and it is time to act uh, let's see what other deck do I want to use here I think I want to use this one all right 
This is good, group number three. This is a very interesting spread. Wow. Okay. I have to be mindful of the time because I do have a session to attend as well. So we're going to take, all right, let's concentrate. So I want to take one each for the doing energies. You're being asked to do something. So what are you being asked to do? Yeah, let's take it. All right, two there and one here. Okay, take that one. All right, let's see what's going on here, group three. This is very interesting. Apologies about earlier because I was kind of like, I was a little bit like, are you sure that's what they, you want them to walk away from? I wasn't sure, but now I think I'm sure now. Yeah. Rahu in the 12th. All right. Achieves foreign settlement, wealthy, may lack morals, distant from mother, gains wealth overseas, is wealthy, overcomes enemies, ambitious. Okay. It's Rahu in the 12th. That is very much, what are you meant to act on? You're meant to keep building your path because Ketu would be here in the 6th, which is service. Rahu is here in a very spiritual place. And when I've read for people who've got this line, they're often building healing centers, healing practices, you know, they're doing amazing things. So this is, you're being asked to, to do your work. Ketu in the first house, right, yes, has psychic powers, weak constitution, illness that baffles doctors, strong sense of self hardworking, self-motivated. Yes, yes, this is about work. This is about do your work, do your career. And it's kind of like, I feel like your career and your work is going to take you to places that, you know, Rahu in the 12th, maybe that you've only dreamed of, you know, and maybe there's going to be all kinds of things that open up for you further down the track. Let's take a look at this. Sad, oh, fantastic. Yep, sad in the seventh. Beautiful. Uh, excels as a merchant. Yeah, you, you're meant to work. It resides abroad, gains distinction internationally, delayed marriage to older partner, disciplined, hardworking, self-critical. Strong sense of self. Look at that. You do have a strong sense of self. The emperor, uh, empress has come up for you here as well. Um, let's see. I do just want to dig in a little bit. What, what are you addicted to? What are you addicted to? Let's take one from here. And then we'll take a couple of healing cards and we'll see what Chuck Spezzano says about your addiction card. What are you addicted to? Hmm, Mercury in the seventh house. Okay. Gift for empathy, artistic communication, stylish dresser. Marriage to a wealthy spouse who has a good family achieves through migration. You know, you might be addicted to the opinion of other people. Because, yeah, when I was exploring all of this, I was thinking about, and when I was thinking about addiction earlier today, I was thinking about how there are different types of addiction. So, yeah, you clean up your diet you clean up your physical life, maybe you're meditating every day, twice a day, you're doing it all. But then the, there will still be addictions in there somewhere and they can be finer and more abstract. And when I was thinking about Lester Levinson, he talks about how, you know, we're all addicted to incarnating here. You know, we're all addicted to like the thrill that, you know, of, um, well, of coming down here and then leaving here. Like it's all... <laughs> From a spirit's point of view, that's all pretty exciting stuff. Um, a lot of people are, yeah, kind of, so I was looking at that type of addiction. But here I would say, this is Mercury in the seventh house, I would say that the addiction has something to do with, yeah, other people's opinions possibly, which as addictions go is very mild, you know, and that's, 
not something I, I, I could imagine that that's something you can handle um, pretty easily so wow amazing spread any final message from ancestors is what I want to ask let's take a healing card and we'll take um, we'll take one of these moon cards as well so any final message from the ancestors and I'm getting a sense that they are patting you on the back they are saying you're doing amazing and keep going let's see we'll take that and we'll take one of these but you're closing out a cycle look at that and we got this death card and then boom straight away this new ace of wands you got an ace card straight away so it's a strong new beginning that you're going to create uh, something some incredible cycle is going to begin here and who knows I mean that could last many many years You could be closing out something quite big as well because we've got a double sort of tower as well. So it could be quite huge what you're closing out. You are walking away. You're going to do it and your ancestors are going to help you as well. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> there we go. Very clear. Okay. Ooh. Wow. Nothing will come of this situation. Void, of course, moon. Interesting. And I'm also getting the feel that, like, through this card, that it's like, well, yeah, even if you were to hang around with whatever this was, whatever's closing out, uh, no, nothing's going to come of it anyway. Like, there's all this excitement and growth and new stuff that, awaits you this is this is the path to go down interesting also I looked at this first I haven't looked at this yet let's see what this is I wanted to look at this first oh Archangel Michael yeah you're being protected very much nice so it's kind of like whatever this old situation is Kind of like nothing's nothing's going to come out of it there's just stagnation there it's kind of like you have to move forward now and it's good it's 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 very promising very promising uh what's ahead group number three it's looking like a really good cycle opening up let's just take one more <laughs> let's just say one more from here and then I will have to wrap up. I do have a, a session to attend. All right, let's see. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, all right. Yeah. Wow, nothing is yet set in stone. <laughs> okay, nothing, nothing. Interesting the word nothing twice nothing will come of this situation nothing is yet set in stone and you're being protected but I kind of I get the sense that inactivity is actually the thing you need to walk away from and I think you need to act and I think you need to it's a career you need to build your career this thing that you could be leaving behind it could be a relationship it could be um, I'm not even sure I'm not even sure what this thing is that you're closing out or you're leaving behind it could be an old career thing it could be I'm not sure what that is what you're closing out where there's stagnancy and no growth basically there's just like no activity there so I think you're being asked to walk away from no activity and the new cycle is going to contain activity and work and you know and it is spiritual type work what you're being asked to do so this is possibly doing your art or your 
healing practice or you know whatever it is I think you're going to be busy group number three and I think you're going to love it look who's at the center of your reading it's the empress I mean isn't she incredible look at that and that could be empress emperor whichever one you want to be but that is that is you at the center of all of this you shine group number three and I think your ancestors are giving you a message that you know there is a well done message here but there is also a your protected message and it's time to go forward message as well all right let me know how you got on in the comments below group number three i would love to hear from you and i look forward to seeing you next time